Do you hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I love? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence and the season of giving. Right now over on Patreon.com slash Inkdependence, patrons get a patron-only Discord. They get ad-free video and they get the joy of knowing that they have supported this channel. Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. I'm Mike and this is day 14 of Inkvent. This year our Inkvent calendar is brought to us by True Fay. Thanks very much True Fay for uh, giving us to me to show everyone. Uh, yesterday was of course Weeping Willow, this weird multi-chrome that it claimed was a standard. Uh, I just put it in a pen actually and I definitely got it on my fingers. That um, yeah, that happened. So uh, we can't wait to see what we have in 14 here. Rainbow's End. This sounds cool. Oh, it's a shimmer of some kind. Uh, Rainbow's End here looks like it's going to be a purple and it's a chameleon. All right. So a chameleon with purple has got like some purpley, purpley. Oh, I can see like a like a red glint. That's really interesting. All right. Let's uh, get this shaken up a little bit. So here we have day 14, Rainbow's End, which I drew a little rainbow, and at the end of it, a little bottle of Inkvent bottle. How fun is that, right? And then I was like, wait a minute, Roy G. Biv Violet, uh, this is uh, the, the last color. It's the end of the rainbow. It's the bottom. So that's real fun. We've also got the Chameleon Shimmer in there, which is glowing, I don't know, kind of bronzy and a little bit pinkish, perhaps? Let me see if I can... Not the bronze, for sure. Yeah, no, no, no luck getting out of their color to come through on camera, but uh, it actually is purple, I think. So we got bronze and purple shimmer. Very cool. Uh, I only had a couple of things that were like this. Well, maybe one thing. I don't know. This is Audrey's swatch, which looks, uh, yeah, exactly like mine. So that's cool. That came out very consistent. I found this one, which is Meet Me in St. Louis 2020. And it's got the same kind of grapey color to it up in the top, but the rest of it, not so much. Uh, actually, I didn't have anything that was exactly this color of purple, which is pretty neat. Um, this is an ink that I made with Pannonia, or rather Pannonia did with me, I guess, uh, called Boraje. Uh, mine is more of a matte color and a little bit more grape, I think, than the color of this. And it did, uh, I did mine with a uh, blue shimmer. Did I do it in the swatch? I forget. No, I didn't put any shimmer in the swatch. Uh... You can see a little bit of shimmer there in the, the smaller writing sample, but not a whole lot. I went with a blue shimmer for mine, but I think these are actually named for the same kind of reason. Hey, Diamine, if you're watching, and I know you are, uh, y'all got some ARMY up in there, some BTS fans, because Audrey and I are big fans of the Korean pop group BTS, and uh, they have uh, this word called Barahe that uh, one of them made up, which essentially is referring to this end of the rainbow uh, bits, the last color of... Uh, of, uh, of the rainbow and purple is their color and Barahe means uh, I'll love you until the end of the, the rainbow. So uh, yeah, really fun and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. So very cool. Thank you very much for watching. Check out uh, the other stuff that True Fae has over on their site and uh, come back here tomorrow for day 15. What can top this weirdo multi-chrome that I really like and rainbows end uh, pff, Barahe. Until next time, see you later.